Hello and welcome back. In our journey so far, we have primarily used Git merge to integrate our feature branches, like for example, merging the changes from the feature branch to the main branch. Now, this command is safe, it's reliable, but it can also leave your commit history looking a bit cluttered with merge commits. Today, we are diving into a command that professional developers use to maintain a clean, linear and beautiful commit history git rebase now i have to give you a strong warning up front git rebase is incredibly powerful but it also rewrites history it's a tool that you must handle with care like a sharp scalpel using it incorrectly can ca cause a lot of headaches for you and your team but using it correctly especially on your own local branches will make your project history a joy to read we will cover what it is, how it works, the golden rule of when to use it, and even how to resolve conflicts. Let's explore the art of rewriting history. Now to understand rebase, let's compare it directly to merge. So the action of your git merge is that it creates a new merge commit that brings two diverging histories together. So let's say you make some change in the feature branch, you make some change in the main branch, and you merge them together, basically it creates a new merge commit. Now, the result of this is that the history of the feature branch is preserved, but the commit graph can look messy with multiple merge bubbles. It's like combining two separate stories into one book with a note that says these two stories are now together. So basically it creates a uh, commit telling there was a merge that happened between your feature branch and your main branch. Now git rebase on the other hand it takes all of your commits from your feature branch, it unapplies them, moves your branches base to the latest commit on main and then reapplies your feature commits on top. So basically it creates a perfectly linear history your feature branch now looks like it was created and developed directly from the latest main commit. It's like taking the chapters from one story and pasting them directly onto the end of a new single story. Now, the key takeaway here is that rebase rewrites the history of your commits, creates a new set of commit hashes to produce a clean, linear and easy to read history. Let's see this in action with our collaboration project. So here I have my collaboration project and at this point I have one branch which is my main branch. Now let's first run this command to make sure my main branch gets updated. So if there's any new changes in the central repository, it will download that as well. So at this point it's already up to date. And let's create a new branch here. So let's call this as feature and let's say add button so now we should be in our new branch now let's say we will make some changes here so maybe we will uh, create a new file or something like that so let's say button dot html and let's say button click here to apply and let me close this button i'll save this file let's add this and let's commit this so feature added button dot html file all right now let's go back to our main branch and let's make a change there as well so i'll go to the main and uh, maybe we'll go here and let's say href button.html let's say demo and i will save this so let's add this we will commit this and let's say include button.html in index.html now we have two diverging histories right so if you look at the log here let me quickly show this so git log hyphen hyphen one line hyphen hyphen graph so here this 
change we have done in our main branch so here is a feature that we have included and now if we do a switch to our feature branch so let's go here and switch to this and here also if you see the graph you will see that i have my change in the feature branch as well right so now both my branches are diverged so main has a change and my feature branch also has a change now you can simply do a git merge which will merge your changes but we don't want to do that so instead of merging main into our feature branch which would create a new merge commit we will do a rebase all right so here uh, i'm already in my uh, feature branch so let's do a git rebase and then the name of the branch so if you run this you can see successfully rebased and updated so now if we check our commit log so git log hyphen hyphen one line hyphen hyphen graph you will see a clean linear history all right so here is the change that we did in the main branch and here is the change that we have done in our feature branch so the changes that i did in my feature branch is here at the below even though i first committed the feature branch changes right so if you remember we first created this uh, button.html file and then we included that in the index.html file but you can see the commit is below the feature commit so this is a clean rewrite so like i said in the beginning rebase helps to rewrite the history of your commits so now my feature branch looks like it was created directly from the feature branch so basically uh, we created a branch from this commit and then we made our changes so now my history is clean now a very important rule of your rebasing is never rebase a shared branch so this is good if you are doing it locally only if you are using the branch but if you are sharing this branch never ever use rebasing on it this is the most important lesson of this video git rebase is fantastic but it comes with a cardinal rule do not git rebase a public shared branch that other people are working on the reason is simple when you rebase you are rewriting history so if you rebase a shared branch that someone else has already pulled and based their work on you have just changed the shared history out from under them their local branch will now reference a history that no longer exists on the remote causing massive confusion and forcing them to resolve complex issues so when is it okay to rebase when uh, you are doing it on your own local unpublished feature branches it's your personal workspace cleaned up as much as you want before proposing a merge do not ever do it on main or any other public shared branch use git merge here to preserve history and prevent chaos so here this here if you see this is an example of your git merge so you can see this, how it shows the divergence so basically it says from here a branch was created all these changes were done and then it was merged so basically it creates a merge um, a commit for us but git rebase does not do that it rewrites the history for us and that can create a confusion if uh, multiple people are using it now the real superpower of rebase is interactive mode or git uh, rebase hyphen i so hyphen i here stands for uh, interactive this allows you to edit squash reword and also reorder commits before you push them now this is perfect for polishing your work before creating a pull request so let's say we will make some uh, commits here so let's go to maybe this file so let's say this is another line to test i'll save this i will add this i will commit this feature update contact dot html and now i purposefully did a typo here so that we can fix it and let's say we will add this
let's save this we will add this as well and let's say right so now we should have two commits okay so this is one commit and this is the other commit so now we have a few small messy commits we would like to combine into a single clean commit right so there are two commits now i want to combine them into one single commit so let's start interactive rebase on our last two commits so for this we will say git rebase hyphen i and then we will say head tilde symbol and then two so two here indicates last two so this is the interactive rebase editor so when i run this so here is your interactive rebase editor it shows the two commits we are rebasing so here these are the two commits we are rebasing each with a command um, next to it so we have pick here so pick is keep, keep the commit as is you can also have a reword uh, meaning keep the commit but change the message you have squash which is to combine this commit with one uh, above it and then you have edit which is to stop the rebase or this commit to make changes now let's squash our uh, second commit into the first one so we will change the command for the second uh, commit message so here we will set this to squash and let's save this now when you save this git will open up a new editor asking for a combined commit message so here we can give the combined commit message so let's say we will add feature add button dot html and fix some typos let me save this and done now we have now turned two messy commits into a single polished commit now if you check the log once again here you will see a clean new history so earlier we had two commits now by using this git rebase we have squashed them and uh, made it into one single commit now next let's talk about resolving rebase conflicts so what happens if rebase runs into a conflict so git is smart but sometimes it can it cannot automatically resolve the changes now let's simulate a conflict by uh, making changes to the same file on the same line so let's switch to our main branch oh, looks like i did not commit this uh, Yes, I'm in the main branch. Let's go to this file and let's say this change was done in the main branch. I'll save this. I will add this. I will commit this. And let's say feature changes from main branch. And now let's switch to our feature branch and there also we will make a conflicting change so get switch and uh, here we will make a change so this change is from the feature branch i'll save this let's add this and let's commit this and done so now uh, we should have uh, now we have a conflicting change so i made some changes in the main branch to the same file to the same line and in the feature branch as well to the same file in the same line now let's try running the git rebase command sorry and git will pause the rebase and tell you there is a conflict you will see a message like conflict so much conflict in index.html so how do you resolve this conflict so you will need to open up this uh, conflicting file so let me open up the conflicting file and here you can see 
So find the conflicting markers. So here this indicates the beginning of your conflict. This indicates the ending. So this is this is a change in one file. This is a change in another file. So this is from the main branch and this is from the feature branch. So let's fix this. So let's say, you know, we don't want this. Uh, I don't want this line and I don't want this line as well. Now you can either choose to keep both the lines as it is or you can combine them that's up to you i will leave it as it is and let me save this so once you resolve the conflict you will need to tell git that uh, you are ready to stage it so we will uh, do the git add command you then tell git to continue with the rebase so we'll say git rebase hyphen hyphen uh, continue and the commit message we will save it so git will move on to the next commit in the rebase or finish if there are no more now if you get overwhelmed at any point remember you can always back out with a single command which is using this git rebase hyphen hyphen about so for any reason you don't want to continue you can just run this command and this will stop the rebase and return your branch to its original state all right you have just unlocked a very powerful advanced git skill you now know that um, rebase creates a clean linear history by moving commits the fundamental difference between rebase and merge the golden rule never rebase a public shared branch and then how to use git rebase hyphen i to squash reword and edit your commits and how to confidently resolve rebase conflicts this is a professional level tool that when used correctly on your private branches will make your contributions cleaner and easier for your teammates to review you are now equipped with the advanced knowledge to truly master your Git workflow, a skill highly valued in every tech company. In the next video, we will explore how to change, how to save changes temporarily using the git stash command. If this video helped you understand Git Rebase, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and let me know in the comments when you plan to use Rebase for the first time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.